Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today because we are doing a bit of a vlog. Uh, we are shopping for props for Cinderella and I am bringing you guys along for the ride because you said that you wanted to see more of behind the scenes in what I do in prepping for shows and this is what I do and I don't normally have company so so I'm getting a lot of materials today. Um, I need quite a few things before I start making stuff um, and we are about, um, I think, three weeks out from the show, maybe four, but um, we're getting really close and it's coming down to the wire now, so I really need to get on with a few of these things, so let's go on a little journey. And side note, I apologize if the audio isn't great. I don't have my microphone on today, um, but yeah, if you can live with the audio, then stick around. Be sure to smash the like button because it lets me know you want to see more content like this, as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss any of my so that you don't miss any of my content. And with all that said and done, let's jump into this vlog. All right, I've just arrived at Spotlight and the first thing that I'm gonna do is like, I know that I need to go in and I need to get fabric, but I need to consult my list to make sure that there's nothing else that I might need in the store. And I basically do this before every single store that I go into when I'm shopping for a show because you just never know what you're going to find. And also I like to familiarize myself with the list. Sometimes I'll take a photo of it and that sort of thing. I I don't always have the lists on my phone because I have like 10 billion lists on my phone and I find sometimes I get a bit lost. So I just like to have it all in the one place and I'm a bit old school. So I am just going to quickly read the list now and we will go and see what we can find. Honestly, excess coffee, if you know, you know. I absolutely love their coffee. And it's not even about like the coffee itself. It's about the experience and like they just have so many options and it's a little bit cheeky and I got a cookies and cream latte, but I only ever get them when I'm there. And I'm not out here very often because um, Spotlight is now in the middle of nowhere. If you live in Newcastle, then you also know. And so it's like a whole experience. Come out here, get your excess coffee and oh, it's great. Mm. So I am going to go now, I think, to Kmart. I need to get some more um, wax for the little seals that I'm making for the invitations. And, you know, a Kmart trip is always a fun time anyway. Uh, but I am limiting my spending at the moment um, because, you know, increases and all that sort of stuff. But also, you know, it's not good to just 
spend willy-nilly. Um, so I think that's probably all I need. I'm also going to go to Officeworks because I need to get like some good card for um, the invitations as well. So let's go do that. Alrighty, so we are home now, and so I'm gonna do a bit of a haul. I didn't end up going to Officeworks because I actually found a uh, cardstock at Kmart, and I hadn't seen it before, but that might have also been because I hadn't been looking. Um, but this, uh, it's kind of like this parchment sort of look, uh, A4 cardstock, and I got two packets of those, and there's 25 um, pieces in each, and I need to do about 50 invitations. There'll be more spares, but like, I just wanted to buy what I needed first and I can always go back for spare supplies later. Um, and so they both cost um, $5 each. So that's pretty good. I also got a stationery case. Now I have a lot of these, but they're actually currently full with other things. So this is something that I'm going to be using to keep paperwork in and that sort of stuff. So the spare cardstock and all those sorts of things like on shows like high school musical i had a lot of paperwork and having these is really really important it's kind of like a document wallet but i just prefer these ones and what i actually went in there for is the wax for the wax seals which i'm doing for the invitation and which this is what they look like um and yeah so i need to get them to make my spares and all sorts of stuff and my full tutorial on how i do my invitations is coming out really really soon so stay tuned for that one then in spotlight i got uh four pieces of felt so there's two of each color here and if you saw a video that i did in 2021 on when i did fake buzine which are those really long trumpets so if you watch the coronation at all they had them um they're kind of like the regal trumpets but they're actually called buzines and they usually have flags hanging off them uh and i'm not sure what color we're going with because like the general theme of cinderella is purple but i think a lot of the castle stuff is red so i just got both they were really really cheap um for all four of them and i'm going to use like they'll get used anyway if, if it's not for this project it'll be for another one so got four of those in spotlight um and they were um they were $1.80 each, so they're not too expensive. I also got a roll of Cricut Iron On Gold Vinyl. Um, they had, uh, I think, 30% off Cricut stuff, so that was really good. I needed this anyway, and I mentioned in my video where I went through my props book that I'm making some banners and I need Iron On Vinyl for it, uh, but I wanted to check with the director that this is the colour that they actually wanted. I needed to replace this anyway, but I didn't want to buy like a whole heap of it if this wasn't the color that we were going to go with so rolling with that one and then i also got some masking tape because i need masking tape for a project that i'm doing as well also for cinderella i have to make an extremely long scroll and i think i'm going to be doing that with um like this cardstock but it will probably end up being like cream colored paper um, but I need masking tape to stick that all together and I will do that whole other video on how I do that one and finally you guys would have seen I was picking out fabric so this is fabric for uh, the bunting now if you watched my vlog on when I was doing like my life update you would have seen that I was painting bunting in that episode I actually decided against using it not because it looked really bad but I just it was just one of those things that you know it didn't really fit the vibe that we were going for and i thought that i could do better and so i've decided to make it and i'm excited for that of course like it's much more much as to like how much time it's going to take um like it's kind of annoying that i made that decision late in the game but you know it is what it is the bunting will get used for something else like i'm not super stressed about that um but yeah it was just looking a bit too rustic and i didn't think that was the right vibe so we are making some and we've got these beautiful deep royal colors here with the green the blue the red and the purple this is probably the order that they're going to go in um and yeah so super super exciting i've made at each of these and these are quilting fabrics and they were five dollars per meter so twenty dollars for those so all up my uh total costings today in spotlight was 54.50 and then in kmart it was 21.50 so under a hundred dollars which is great and i've got a lot of 
uh, stuff that I need. So super, super excited about that one. Hey guys, Future Jen here. I didn't end the vlog. Um, I actually didn't end a lot of the vlogs that you'll see in this series because I just kept filming and filming and filming and filming and filming and kind of lost track of where I was. So... <laughs> Thank you for watching so far. Um, be sure to hit the like button if you are enjoying this content because it lets me know you want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell and stay tuned for the rest of my Cinderella series. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.